This video will show you how to turn and assemble a rod's bottom handle, reel seat, insert, and top handle. Start with a 1.5 by 1.5 by 12 inch spindle blank. Here we're using an attractive bloodwood blank. Measure and mark the pieces. 2.5 inches for the top handle, 4 inches for the reel seat insert, and about 5.5 inches for the bottom handle. Cut the three pieces to size on a saw. Here we have the three pieces laid out ready for drilling. Mark the centers on the ends of each blank. Use the 8mm drill bit and drill through the bottom handle blank and the reel seat insert blank. When drilling the bottom handle, only drill about 3 inches into the center of the blank. Next, we mount the top handle and reel seat insert blanks onto our lathe using a pen mandrel. We provided a three-piece bushing set that will assist you in mounting up the blanks and turning the blanks down to the proper dimensions. The step of the bushings should slide nicely into the drilled 8mm holes that have been pre-drilled into the blanks. Align the handle blank with the larger diameter bushings and use the smaller diameters for the reel seat insert. Bring up the tailstock to tighten up the assembly. Adjust the tool rest to the center line of the mandrel. Start your turning with a roughing gouge. Once the blanks are rounded, use a spindle gouge to shape the blanks to size. Turn the top handle down to the bushing diameters of the large diameter handle bushings. However, you'll only be turning the reel seat insert to 11 sixteenths diameter, not down to the bushings at this time. Make a wooden gouge as shown here or use calipers with an 11 16 inch opening. Continue to turn and check the diameter until the diameter is about 11 16 of an inch. Don't turn beyond the 11 16 since you'll need a bit of extra material for sanding. Once the insert is turned down to 11 16 mark the ends of the insert at one half on the left side and one and five sixteenths inch on the right side. These marks will define the lengths of the tenons needed for the real seat components. Turn tenons on both sides of the blank. At this point, you will turn the tenons down to the bushings. Cut sharp edges on the inside edges of the tenons so the components will assemble properly. Once all of your rough cutting is finished, sand the handle and seat insert with graduated sandpaper starting at 120 and ending at 400 to 600 grit. Sand until the work is nice and smooth. When you're done with the insert, assemble the real seat components with the insert and make sure the components fit properly. If not, put the piece back on the lathe and turn and sand the components until they fit properly. Here we're showing the real seat properly turned, sized, and assembled. Now we're ready to turn the bottom handle. Mark the center of the undrilled end of the bottom handle. Mount it up with the point of a live 60 degree center inserted into the drilled 8 millimeter hole on the tailstock end. On the headstock end, press a drive center into the other end of the blank. Start with a roughing gouge and continue with a spindle gouge until the work is round. Shape and form the handle to an appropriate profile. Once the handle is shaped, part the work at the approximate end of the handle. Leave enough wood for sanding. Sand the handle with graduated grits until it's smooth along the length and at the parted end. Once you're done sanding, part off the work and sand the end so it's round and smooth. Test fit the end of the rod into the handle to see if it fits. 
If it doesn't fit, re-drill or re the 8 millimeter hole until the rod slips snugly into the hole and seats on the bottom of the drilled hole. Now is an appropriate time to finish the components with sealers and varnishes before final assembly. Here we're using triple E polish and cello wax cream for final finishing. Here we have all the turn parts and accessories we need for final assembly of the rod components. Paper towels, turn bottom handle and upper handles, reel seat insert and reel seat components, glue brushes, sandpaper, epoxy glue, mixing cup, rod blinds, a hand wrapper or support to help position your rod during assembly. First we dry assemble all the components to make sure they fit and to determine where we're going to be applying glue. Use a white grease marking pencil to mark where the real seat assembly will be attached to the rod. Mix up the two-part epoxy. Make sure you use equal parts and mix it thoroughly. Use a glue brush and spread the epoxy liberally onto the tenons of the real seat insert. Slide the real seat components onto the tenons. Make sure they're properly aligned. Rotate them to make sure the glue spreads evenly. Allow about 15 minutes or so to make sure the glue sets up. Now apply the epoxy liberally below the white mark on the rod blank. Slide the real seat assembly onto the blank and over the epoxy. Slide the bottom handle to make sure the seat is properly positioned, but don't glue it on at this time. You'll want the real seat to sit below the spline of the rod, so now is an important time to check the spline mark and rotate the real seat so the reel will mount under the spline. Next, liberally apply epoxy to the top handle. Slide the top handle onto the rod and over the epoxy and rotate and spread the glue. Lay the assembled rod on the hand wrapper for drying. You may now want to epoxy glue your bottom handle onto the rod. Wait for later if you're using a hand drill for finished gluing and drying, since the rod end will be inserted into the drill chuck for rotating. Your turn components are now assembled to your rod blanks and you're ready for the next step in the process of building your spinning rod.